What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to Pokemon Snakewood. In the last episode, <laughs> we did literally nothing. And I mean nothing. Zigzagoon, can you please, can you please stop? I'm trying to do my intro here. Okay, so we got stuck at a at this particular guy up here and as you saw at the beginning of this episode we did a little bit of training so before we go there let's go over our team a little bit so oh my I feel these <laughs> okay sorry about that I thought there was a <laughs> I thought there was a sneeze coming. <laughs> Alright. So let's go over the team real quick. We got Seppuku or C Dot who is now level twelve. I got I got uh Seppuku up three levels as compared to nine as it was last time. Uh still holding the leftovers with Bide, Harden, and Growth. Still can't learn a physical dealing move. I want it to. And then next we have Poek, our Baltoy, who's now Baltoy, Baltoy, who's level 15 with Psybeam, Harden, Rapid Spin, and instead of Sand Tomb, he learned Rock Tomb when he learned when he got to level four. I think it was fi uh, when he got to level 15. Hopefully, level 15. Uh, hopefully, we're at the level we need to be to beat this guy. Hopefully, I'm still starting off with Sapuku because that seemed to have worked well last time. And um, I also went and grabbed a, uh, a few more light potions from that bag, like uh, from that bag, um, the bag from last episode where uh, you could just go and grab literally infinite light potions. So I picked up until I had 18, oh, thinking it's enough. Let's try it. Not doing this text again. Not doing this text again. Nope, not doing it. And this episode is also brought to you by H2O, aka Water. Zabulon, let's do this. Alright, Sapuku. We're actually above him now, okay. Um, we're gonna hurt it. <laughs> because he does that attack plus thing, which he is. Alright. Uh, defense rose. You know, let's go bide. I'm thinking he's gonna try and nope. Okay. Lowering my attack is fine because bide doesn't have a base power. Ah, oh, this is good. Unleash the energy. Can can we kill it? Yes. Bide. Sapuku, you the man. Nature power. Oh, now we, now we learn a damage dealing move. Okay. Next is uh, Murkrow. Because we have Rock Tomb, I'm thinking switch to Poic. Hopefully, hopefully this will be. If we do this in one try, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be like Snakewood's done. <laughs> okay. Let's go Rock Tomb. Gust, fine. I know Rock Tomb has 80 power. I know it has 80 power. Or 80 accuracy, sorry. Increase it to 90. Or 80. 90. 5. 90. And of course I'm paralyzed. Two turns in a row paralyzed. Alright. Um, let's use a light potion. Oh my god. Can he not can you not get a crit? Can I just hit one? Thank you. What is it gonna do? Half. Oh, and we also lower the speed. Okay, we need to heal up right now. The fact that I'm paralyzed too doesn't make things any easier. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm hoping he doesn't get another crit while using... Okay. This could work. Let's go Rock Tomb again. Heck, perfect. Rock Tomb, hits the Rock Tomb, we're done. First try. Thank you, Lord. All right. <laughs> I'm actually so happy we got this done on the first try. That training definitely helped. Such strength. Oh, thank God. We demons may possess corpses, but we are honorable. You have defeated me, and so I shall warn you that stronger demons than I lurk ahead in the city you call Rusboro. Damn, okay. The corpse crumbled into dust. The demon flitted, flitted back to the netherworld. What's this? Stone, stone badge. You get the badges, so these are the gym leaders. Does that mean that the legless corpse was... Does this mean that the legless corpse was, um, or the demon was possessing Roxanne? I think I remember something. Oh, I can feel a flashback coming. The stone badge race. Oh, it's just taught me about the stone badge. Got it from gym leader Roxanne. These gym badges, the gym leaders have them, and the gym leaders are strong. What could possibly have happened to Rustboro that even the gym leader was defeated? With extreme caution. And now everything seems to be darker. What do you gotta say? So I'm gonna need to, okay. Okay, before moving ahead, I'm going back to heal. Um, okay, so, theory. Because I picked up the stone badge off of that legless corpse, and it's and it said that it can die, um, that they can possess corpses. Would this mean that Roxanne died? Let me just see if I can. Okay, I can't go back here yet. Does that mean that Roxanne died, and this corpse or the the demon was possessing Roxanne? That's why that's why it had the stone badge after I killed it. Hmm. Oop. And of course, once I leave and return, everything is back to normal. Ooh. Oh yeah, I fought one of these literally at the <laughs> at the tail end of my um, training. So I don't think I'm too far off. So which means all the gym leaders would also be is it safe to say besides Duford because we haven't been to Duford yet um I don't know it was weird I'm going to die I can feel the poison chilling my oh no turn my brain to soup oh no <laughs> I just killed him I didn't kill him but if I had a if I had a antidote, I probably would have saved him. What's this? An ether. Okay, I'll take an ether. Ethers are cool. And what's this say? Uh, trainer tips. In addition to blah 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 blah. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, it's zigzag again. <laughs> I know I'm constantly looking over here. It's just good. that's me looking at my recording. And what are you? Mmm, a fresh, juicy body, ripe for the taking. Okay. <laughs> you can take. D don't. I was just about to say you can take my body, but no. This is not secret egg. Uh. What? I'm fighting an egg. How? How is this possible? An egg knowing leech life. How? Okay. Um, let's go Psy Beam, because I have no idea what type you are. Hmm. 
I want to find out what type you are. Can I not miss? So, it knows Harden, Leech Life, Rock, and uh, Sand Attack. I think those are the only three moves it knows. At least that's what I'm getting from it. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just going to start hitting with Psy Beam. This is starting to get ridiculous now. Because you're only raising your de you're only raising your defense on your special defense, so this is really <laughs> monotonous now. <laughs> Can you just die, please? Just you know, turn yourself over and just die. There we go. Got the confusion. If you can hit yourself in confusion, it'll be hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> it did too! I was not expecting that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> like, just imagine just hitting an egg, like just an egg, just hitting itself in confusion. It's just funny. I've been driven out. Oh. Curses, you've banished me. The corpse turned to dust, flitted back to the netherworld. Oh, is this... There's more? I need cut to get through this, though. Okay. Alright, let's head to Rustboro. I've been sticking in the... Whoa! Pikachu? I'm sorry to root through your dead head, but... Thanks for the super potion? Okay. 22 Orion Berries. We'll pick the Orion Berries. Oh my god, that Pikachu head. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, Pikachu. I love you and all, but, uh... Okay, before heading in there, I know there's a couple items in here. Pokeball. A light, another light potion. Very nice, very nice, very nice. What do we got here? Another wormhole. Can we not? And nothing here. Super potion. Very nice. Nothing there. And one more spot here. Two more two zombies up there. Nope. That's just before Rustboro. And nothing here. Okay. Uh, let's check out the flower shop. Nobody's here. And that's where we get the pail. Okay. <laughs> and another med kit. Okay. I'll take the med. I'll take med kits. Free, f free heals. They're, he's really put it. The free heals are everywhere in this game. Trainer tips and the home reason. Okay. Oh no. Is there still double battles in this game? Oh no. You're a trainer? Oh. She thinks I'm a zombie. I'm no zombie woman. Poochiana. Um. You know what? Let's bide. If he doesn't sand attack me. There we go. There's a tackle that I'm... Oh my god, this is going to do nothing. This body is going to do nothing. And miss. Okay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, I'm switching. <laughs> let's go to public. Let's do this. And tackles not that was a okay that was a crit which is fine um let's do rock tomb and of course i miss i miss all the time except for this time can you stop it 
just wanted to double check. I knew it wasn't going to do it, but I, I just, I had to check. Okay. Let's go back to Sapuku because this is really starting to... You know, that's not going to do anything for you. Let's go bide. Can you attack me, please? That would be pretty nice if you can attack me. There we go. I don't think it's going to do much, though, now. And Leftovers is doing 2 HP now. So that's, that's wicked. That's cool. Bide, I love you. And there's Survivor. Oh, you're not a zombie. You didn't realize that before. No, I'm tired a lot. No, I'm, I'm sure I'm surely dead meat. Or you can go into the flower shop. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna heal because because free heals, free health care in terms in the Pokemon world. So why not? And it's not even all that far. I want to get to at least Rustboro before the end of the episode. At least I have some progress. <laughs> And are you gonna fight me? You're a trainer. You're a trainer. You can help us citizens of Rustboro go to the city and rid us of the demons. If it'll help, take this TM09. TM09. Uh, forgot what TM09 is. I'm terrible. Grass whistle? Huh? Sapuku can know it. Kind of move his grass whistle. Six <laughs> nope. 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 65 accuracy. Not doing it. No. Yes, yeah, stop trying to learn. I might learn it like in the future, but not now. Are you a trainer? Yes. Zombies can't cross running water, so I'm safe on this bridge. Yeah. Speak for yourself, buddy. <laughs> Dunstan? Oh, great. Level 19 Magikarp. Holy shit. Um, I mean, I'm going to get like experience out the wazoo, probably, because he's level 19. But. Oh, Psybeam. Oh, this, this Magikarp actually knows an attacking move. Who knew? And confused Magikarp. <laughs> I'm sorry, Magikarp. If you can hit yourself in Confusion, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> and you do. <laughs> this episode is going way... This, this is going way too smooth. <laughs> Another Magikarp? No, I'm not going to change. I'm going to keep Poic out. Let's do go another. You know what? On the last Magikarp, I'm going to put Tapuku out because because Bide. And you'll get pretty good experience from it, I think. He'll get 80. Oh, that was a crit. Very nice. Very nice crit. Poet got 81. Magikarp. Yes, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change to Sapuku. And you're gonna send out the magic carp, and I'm gonna hit bide. See what happens. If he tackles me, we'll see how much this is gonna do. <sighs> There's tackle number one. Hit me again. I dare you. This is gonna hit you for double. There you go. Unleash energy. How much is this gonna do? It's not bad. It could be better. Let's do it again. Let's hit by it again. I want this to be Supuku's battle. Guess his magic carp. <laughs> Said no one ever. Come on. I think putting leftovers on Supuku, I think, was a good idea, especially where I'm using Bide. Oh my god. This one this bite isn't gonna do anything. Okay. 
How, what is nature power going to do? I'm curious now. How much is this going to do? Oh, not hard. I didn't mean to use Harden. I meant to use nature power. Alright. On the plus side, that Magikarp is, is doing jack shit to me, so. There's a nature power turned into swift, because... Oh my god, that did nothing. Remember I said I wanted this to be Seppuku's battle? I'm beginning to... Um, regret that decision. Because this is taking way, way too long now. He attacked me then. Can you hit me with a get? He can you hit me one more time? There you go. Now you're now you're learning. Oh my god, that did nothing. Okay. I'm switching. I'm sorry. This is taking way, way, way too long. I am I apologize. I mean, at least then both of these guys will get a level up. I did not mean to make that as long as it needed to be. Ugh. There we go. Seppuku is now 14, and Pollock is now 16. Are we good to? Are we good for an evolution? <laughs> okay. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Our Nuzla, Nuzleaf. We do now have a Nuzleaf. Wicked. Cool. I'll take it. Bam, bam. Okay. So we no longer have the defensive only <laughs> uh, C dot. So now we got ourselves a pretty decent attacker, I think. Yeah, there we go. Look at that attack. <laughs> Look at that attack stat. <laughs> and special attack stat. Alright, I'm gonna heal up. Uh, we'll try and do one more battle. We're gonna try, because we're up to 22 minutes now. Actually, no, we're up higher than that because of the training from before. Um, okay. How much more? I don't think we have that much more left to do. Alright, we got berries here. I'm gonna run through this really quick. Um, pick the Lepa. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we got a zombie there. We can take a very quick look into how did they get in there and how do I get in there? Alright, oh. Good thing I did it! What's this egg? What? Huh? What? an egg you knowing harden leech life and sand attack night now and <laughs> i'm just looking at my recording and it's just making me laugh i just had an egg hatch into an egg <laughs> okay all right This is too funny. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I'm not, I'm not going to nickname this egg. Because <laughs> I want to know what the frig this thing is. <laughs> Wait. Has shell armor. He's normal bug. 
with Harden and Leech Light. This is an actual Mon. What? Okay. Um, I th I'm trying to remember where the name Raider is in uh, Hoenn. I think he's in Duford. No. No, I think he's in Rustboro. I'm going to leave the nicknaming for this egg up to you guys. And by the time I see the name Raider, which I believe is in Rustboro, I'll double check it in between recordings. And I'm going to leave the nicknaming up to you guys because I have no idea what to name an egg. I don't have a sweet clue. So I'm going to leave things off here and we'll leave things off on a pretty funny note. <laughs> I'm gonna... <laughs> And he's level five too. So I'm going to leave this up to you guys and I'm going to end the episode off here because we've been going on for almost half an hour. So, um... So in this episode, we actually finally got past the the demon corpse. Yeah, demon corpse. And got the stone badge, and we're just at the foot of Rustboro City. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.